Yeah, uh, let us see uh, how do we really update the uh, burn down chart. So we have this feature one with the story point of five there, and we have a feature two of story point of three here, and then we have a feature three of story point five here. And then during the sprint planning meeting, the second half of the sprint planning meeting, we decompose these stories into task one, task two, and task three, and task four. And for the second feature, we have again task one, task two, task three, task four. And the next feature also we have task one, task two, task three, task four. So in the planning meeting, the second half of the planning meeting, we estimate the effort of the task. So here this has be estimated maybe 10 hours, 10 hours, 10 hours, 10 hours, 5, 5, 5. And towards the end, we get a grand total. That means this sprint, the total effort required to complete the sprint is 80 hours. That gets translated into the the y-axis of the burn down chart. So the y-axis will show 80 here. So this is the total effort required to complete the, the sprint. And on the x-axis we have the duration of the sprint. So in this case the sprint is let's say for 10 days. So here days will come. Here it is a balance effort uh, to complete the sprint. So that comes in there. Now every day the engineers are allowed to update the balance effort. So you, you fix a cutoff time, uh, maybe 3 p.m. So after day one, somebody says this is a zero. That means the task is done. Uh, next task is a five. That means he needs five more hours to complete it. Next task, task is 10. That means nobody has worked on it yesterday maybe, or he wants 10 more hours to complete. So every day the engineers give uh, a revised estimate for completing the balance task and every day we get a data point. So in this case after day one we get a 60. So if you really look at the burn down chart after day one we hit a 60. So my burn down come from 0 to 60. Next day again day two the zero continues here then we have this 5 became 15 because now the engineer feels that he wants 15 more hours, no questions asked. Here this 10 became 5, no questions asked. This 5 became 10, it is fine. Because here the assumption is when the engineer says something after working on it for some time, that must be the most accurate estimate. So here this is done, that is 0, 0. So after second day also I get a total. Now in this case, as a coincidence, maybe yeah, that is also 60. So what will happen to my burn down? The burn down go horizontally because previous day was 60, today also 60. Likewise, every day we plot uh, the balance effort required on a timeline. So we get uh, the burn down happens. Okay, it goes and hits here. So that is how it is. Can be compared to landing a flight within the runway. So generally when we fly, the pilot says we are at 30,000 30, feet and the distance to the destination is uh, 200 kilometers. And after that he says we are starting the descent and then always he tracks the altitude and the distance, altitude and the distance. And then finally he comes and lands into the, into the runway. So here the burn down helps you to do that. Uh, I hope uh, this adds some value to you. And the previous video we discussed about uh, the value of a burn down and then this explains uh, some more details about how to update a burn down. So generally people use a, uh, a, an Excel sheet uh, or a Google sheet And this updation, we most important thing is we need a cutoff time, maybe 3 p.m. or so, where engineers will come and update the balance effort, and the scrum master takes the data and plots the the burn down.
So that's how it happens. So if you want more details, uh, just uh, post your comments to the video, and uh, I'll be able to. I'll be only happy to, you know, uh, help you out with the comments. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you.